Hello there guys, welcome back to another Alliance War of Season 39 and this time Jedi Assassins we are facing the SBG. This alliance is a really good alliance that we have fought before in seasons uh, before. So anyway, they, they are really good. We knew that it was going to be a really close war, especially because they fought uh, New Nation on the last war. Uh, anyway, uh, we had to take down uh, Pad 9 on Section 1 uh, using Kimping. And I was really doing like really great. Like Kimpin is a really good option. Um, there's only a few champions that Kimpin can do on this node. Uh, well, especially on this path, because uh, Kimpin benefits a lot. Like really, really a lot from the hazard shift nodes. So anyway, uh, I was getting overpower really quickly. I was getting debuff on me, so I was uh, chaining my special ones, trying to get the DJ on her, and it was a really quick fight. And on the next fight, I was uh, a bit worried. Uh, that's why I ended up using an invulnerability boost here, because I was like, okay, uh, I have Mr. Sinister Synergy uh, on my Trinity, on Kingpin, but there's a chance that he sometimes end up getting a lot of uh, power from Mystic Dispersion because he applies a lot of uh, buff on me so I cannot control that when he doesn't have power lock and that was uh, the, ch the <laughs> it happened like what I expected happened and yeah he got sp3 luckily uh, I ended up using Im invulnerability boost and I was able to do that fight without any issue and yeah i ended up uh, getting an sp3 on him so i was really lucky that i used my invulnerability boost and i wasn't cheap enough on this fight and yeah i was i was able to do that fight and ended uh, with a full yellow bar and no issues and on the next fight i had to take down a mangok on node 22 um, i get why they ended up uh, putting mango on this node anyway kimping is a really really good option for him even though i have a lot of rage and debuff on me so i just have to be aware that sometimes my parry uh, won't trigger because my ability accuracy is decreased here so what i'm trying to do is to use my special one uh, before uh, I get my special too and also control the power I have when he gets 10 uh, charges on him because when he gets the 10 he's gonna get the unblockable and the unstoppable and it can be a really really huge problem if I don't have any power to turn off the unstoppable he he has on the after he activates that rage that he has right so that's what i was trying to do here use my sp1 before i got my sp2 then just wait out got my sp1 by blocking that hit waited out so he uses special one to get the unblockable and the unstoppable and on the rage was finished he he kept the unstoppable then i used my special one with an intercept and i was able to do the fight without any issue and yeah that way you can um, reset the hatred uh, he has on the on his abilities and yeah once i finished that i was able to repeat the process like i did at the start of the fight and ended up at full yellow bar just like the fight before i did and yeah no issues there and on the section 2 i had to share um pad 9 with my other account and i had to take this mojo first with Kimpin. So I wasn't worried at all. That's why I didn't use any three minute boost and I almost died because of it. Like uh, I usually use a special one boost here to control the degen that Mojo applies on me and I was unlucky that he got some prompts uh, that doesn't benefit me so he was able to build them and yeah I was getting degen and when I got the first degen I didn't have 
degen on him that's why the degen he applied to me it was really doing a huge amount of uh, damage to me so i ended up losing almost 50 percent damage so my overpower wasn't lasting too much because he had already three prompts so yeah i was a, a bit worried here but anyway uh, yeah at, at this point i was like okay i have his power locked i have degen on him trying to do my best to keep the DJ on him in case he applies DJ again to me I won't die there so yeah I ended up losing like 60% HP on this fight but managed uh, to solo the fight even though it was a risky move by, no, by not using the special one boost here to help me anyway on the mini boss note 47 i believe i had to take down this rintra so rintra he's not gonna be an issue here just gonna be a bit longer fight than it usually is so the strategy here is since i have mr sinister synergy i don't i don't have to worry about the power gain he's gonna get on on the on the node so since my dgen is also active on him when i'm uh, attacking him and when he's getting uh, power sometimes he didn't even gain the fury that he was supposed supposed to to get so yeah i was i was nullifying it uh, and he was losing it when using a special again so yeah it was a really really safe fight for Kimpin, uh, it, it is ob obviously safe fight when you bring the entire trinity for Kimpin because that power lock, um, that synergy is really broken in my opinion because it kind of remembers me when using magic like you know when you use magic you just use sp2 and just cycle it like sp2 back to back to back to back to back and that's that's the same strategy with kingpin just uh, the reverse like just let them use a special so they get power lock and that's what happened here um, and do some hits on him uh, in the when he, the power lock is active so you don't do give any power to him and yeah keep the dgen on and he's gonna die really quick and yeah we did the fight no issues again a uh, full yellow bar and at this point uh, at the, i was like why did i move to gore i tried to move to king root but yeah you know sometimes that book uh, happens that you move to some place and then it moves to the other place yeah it happened to me uh, anyway i use a refill here because i was boosted and i didn't want to lose my boost um on this fight i had to take down king root so my strategy here was try not to lose all my hexes church uh, in fact i was trying to build a bit more because i had to take down a new boss with a link node uh, the, of brute force okay so it was going to be a bit harder uh, and in case i was going to lose my hexes in case i didn't land my heavy um, i was like uh, getting ready uh, for a mess up you know <laughs> anyway i was building some hexes here and i had already 32 on him i had only four or oh, eight 11 chairs at the moment so i was like okay i have to change um, to get my sp3 so i get my hexes i apply to him uh, to me and i get uh, ready for the boss fight you know so uh, that was my plan here uh, just build my sp3 after uh, he nullified the furies so i used them i got 42 chairs the max amount that you can have with hood here and yeah after that i was just ready to use my heavy attack on king root and he was going to die so yeah boom he died almost 200k damage here yeah he, he died really quickly it was a really good preparation for my hood so on the next fight i had to take down wong so wong can be a pretty annoying defender especially when he activates his unstoppable because of his ability so i was just uh, trying to play slowly here and patiently uh, because 
sometimes he can triggers the unstoppable especially when using Kimpin because Kimpin he gets the overpower he gets unstoppable when using heavy you get dexterity uh, buff when you dex so when he actives his blue ability the virtue of Baltor he can get un unstoppable did you see I got my overpower so he got unstoppable I do I use it uh, dexterity so he also got unstoppable so I was like okay I have to play here slowly I use my sp1 just to apply DJ in case I get hit and here since he had 90 chargers I use my sp uh, my heavy attack even though I knew that he was getting who he was going to you uh, get unstoppable I was like okay he has Digen on me and even if he attacks me I won't lose that much uh, HP and I'm gonna get rid of that uh, ability that can do an explosion to you so yeah uh, it was a really good fight uh, as long as you know how to fight um, Wong uh, it's gonna be a really easy fight especially for Kingpin and on the next fight and the last one was to take down Null so I used invulnerability boost here because you know that can happen that sometimes Null doesn't trigger uh, specials or something and he wants to hold them so yeah I, I, I was just trying to be really safe because when I was taking down the boss it was really early so the war wasn't over so it, it could have be gone to any of the two alliance so yeah um, it was a bit harder because as I said uh, at the start of the video I was going to take down a null with brute force link node so sometimes when I'm not attacking him do you see I'm losing some HP um, I'm not losing that much HP here because since I have a class advantage when you do have a class advantage you don't get uh, that much damage from the brute force so uh, this was my main plan because we had a bonnie mao on node 55 and he can get a bit sketchy if not using a proper uh, champion so i was like okay i can do that fight and like four or five by five paths can move since section one in the at the beginning like they don't they, uh, it was like a boss rush, you know, so yeah, I was taking this big risk for me, but I had done it before uh, So I was like, okay, if I have done it, I can do it again. And yeah, so uh, I was like, okay, just Repeat the process try to build some hexes on null try to bait a special tools Try to not lose the hexes church that I apply on him uh, at this point. We have 21 we are getting some intercepts some uh, Hexes back and since I had uh, the max amount uh, Because I, I fought a uh, king group before I was uh, really really comfortable here because I didn't uh, have to worry that much on the hexes and at this point I was like okay he's not throwing the sp2 so I had to refresh with a medium attack my attack so I got the invisibility here and I he triggered his sp2 I was uh, a bit lucky here but yeah at this point I was like okay 31 it's a good amount he's already a half hp I have lost a lot of a lot of hp at, at, at this point because I'm playing slowly and sometimes I getting the digen damage from the brute force link node and yeah I, at this point I have almost 40 I was like okay I'm ready to use my uh, heavy attack so um, I was a bit lucky I, here I use my heavy I believe look at that and he used sp1 and since I have uh, I had uh, active invulnerability boost I didn't got any damage back so I was like okay I was lucky here and I got nervous I got nervous here because I was like okay he has to die he has to die come on build my sp2 use it and this time I'm just waiting waiting okay attack me then hold my heavy attack and done I did it I did a solo it took a while but I was able to solo the boss fight with the link node and yeah uh, we ended up winning this war we only died uh, twice um, one in BG1, one in BG2, and my BG, uh, the BG3 did another donut. We are uh, becoming really, a really, really strong battle group 
eh, Battle Group at the end of the season. Hope it continues. And yeah, guys, um, it was like eight fights this war. I'm getting a lot on this on this account because uh, on this account I I have many options, especially uh, Kimpin. He's so good for the entire war. Like uh, he has some pads that are uh, Kimpin. He's the best option and he's white listed. You know, like. If I if I can use it, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you if you enjoyed the video, just hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye.